Hello, kindergartners. Welcome back to our Making Meaning Lessons. I'm so happy to see you all this morning ready to read and learn. My name is Miss Brand, and I'm a kindergarten teacher right here in Seattle at Rising Star Elementary School. Go Firebirds! You have been reading with me last week also, and some of you are joining us today for the first time, and I'm so happy to see you. So, before we get started today, let me tell you what we'll need. You'll definitely need your brain ready to think, wonder, and learn. And you're going to need a partner or something to turn and talk with today. Remember, we can always turn and talk to someone that's where we are right now, or we can always turn and talk to a stuffed animal or a pet or Pretend to give me a call or a friend a call and tell them what you're thinking in today's lesson. Also remember, whatever language you share in for turn and talks is wonderful. All right, kindergartners, here we go. Let's get started. Last week, we read two new books all about baby animals. We read a baby penguin story, and we read a baby duck story. Wow, I'm seeing lots of kindergartners remember that and show a connection sign to say, yes, I remember learning about penguin chicks and ducklings. We also practiced wondering or asking questions in our mind while we heard those stories. Because remember, that's something good readers do. They wonder or think of questions while they're reading or listening to a story. So today, we're going to keep on practice wondering, but we're going to read about a new baby animal. Now, remember, for this whole unit, we're reading nonfiction books about real or true information, people, animals, or things. Today's book is called A Harbor Seal Pup Grows Up. A pup is a baby harbor seal. This is a harbor seal pup. And this one is named Sydney. And in this book, we're going to learn all about Sydney, the harbor seal pup. Remember that on the back of nonfiction books sometimes, there's a little description of what the book is about. Let me read this one to you. Sydney is a harbor seal pup. One day, her mother goes fishing. She does not come back. Will Sydney be rescued? How will she grow up? Find out about Sydney's life in A Harbor Seal Pup Grows Up. Wow, so we already know this book will be about Sydney, the Harbor Seal Pup. But what do you still wonder about Sydney? For example, I'm wondering where does Sydney live? Where is Sydney? Hmm. Go ahead and point to your brain and think. I'll hold up my think sign so we know it's time to think. Hmm. What are we wondering about this book? Hmm. All right, kindergartners, go ahead and turn and talk. Turn and talk. And you're gonna say, I wonder, what do you wonder about this book or about Sydney? I wonder. Wow, yes. Tiggy's over here. You might remember Tiggy. Tiggy and I heard Lots of kindergartners wonder so many great things. We heard kindergartners wonder 
Huh. What is Sydney going to eat? We heard kindergartners wonder. Where does Sydney live? Just like I was wondering. And we heard kindergartners wonder what happened to Sydney's mom? And will she be okay? So many great wonderings. So today, kindergartners, we are going to read the first part of this book and then we'll stop a couple of times to practice thinking and turning and talking to share what we're wondering and what we're learning. We're not gonna read the whole book today, just the first part. So our story is called A Harbor Seal Pup Grows Up. It's by jo Joan Hewitt and it has photographs by Richard Hewitt. Photographs mean pictures. Sometimes nonfiction books have pictures. A harbor seal pup grows up. By the ocean, the harbor seal pup is two weeks old. Her name is Sydney. Sydney stays close to her mother. She drinks her mother's milk. Waves crash on the rocky beach. Harbor seal families lie in the warm sun. Sydney and her mother lie in the sun too. Sydney's mother gets hungry. She dives into the water to catch fish. The water is too cold for Sydney. So Sydney stays on the shore. Shore means land nearby water. The water is too cold for Sydney. So she stays on the shore. The seal pup waits for her mother. She waits for three days. She is very hungry. People notice the seal pup is alone. Will her mother come back? The next day, the pup is still alone. The people call for help. Sydney is rescued. Rescued means saved from danger. Sydney is rescued. Wow, so kindergartners, I'm gonna stop us here for a moment because I'm wondering, what did you learn from the words and pictures about Sydney's first weeks of life? What have we learned so far from the words and pictures in our story about the beginning of Sydney's life. I'm showing you some of these pictures again to help our brains remember. What did we learn? Okay, I'm gonna give you some time to think. What did you learn from the words and pictures about Sydney's first weeks of life? Okay, kindergartners, go ahead and turn and talk. And you can say, I learned. I heard so many kindergartners share with me that they learned that Sydney, the harbor seal pup, was cold and alone after her mother went to look for food. They also learned that she was on the shore by the ocean or the land near the ocean. Great job using the pictures and the words to help you remember what you learned. Nursed back to health. Nursed means made to feel better. 
Nursed back to health, Sydney is brought to a sea mammal center. A mammal center is a place that takes care of animals until they go back to the wild. Sydney is brought to a sea mammal center. A scientist named Peter is in charge. Peter takes care of young seals. He lifts the thin pup from her cage. Sydney is weak from hunger. Peter knows just what to do. He puts a tube in Sydney's mouth. Then Nicole pumps a drink into Sydney's stomach. The drink is like a mother seal's milk. Sydney is full. She is also very tired. She falls asleep. When Sydney wakes up, her eyes are bright. She looks around. Peter examines the pup. Her heartbeat is normal. So is her temperature. She is healthy. Sydney has a full set of teeth. That means she is at least three weeks old. Sydney is small for her age. Okay, I'm going to stop us here, kindergartners. What did you learn from the words and pictures so far about how Sydney is nursed back to health or made to feel better? Remember, after Sydney went to the Sea Mammal Center, how was she nursed back to health or taken care of? I'm showing you some pictures to help your brain remember before we have some time to think. All right, kindergartners, go ahead and think. Point to your brain if it helps you. What did you learn about how Sydney is nursed back to health or made to feel better? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn and talk. You can say, I learned. Mikey and I heard so many wonderful things that kindergartners have learned. We heard students sharing all sorts of things like Sydney is starting to feel better after she is given something that's sort of like her mother's milk. And these kindergartners said that they learned that because of the pictures here and the words that said, Nicole pumps a drink into Sydney's stomach. The drink is like a mother seal's milk. Those words and pictures help kindergartners to know that Sydney's starting to feel better after she got that milk or that drink. And another kindergartner told me oh, that they remembered that the words, her eyes are bright helped them to learn that Sydney is starting to feel better. Wow. Kindergartners, we're gonna stop reading for today right there because now it's going to be our turn. We just read the first part of this nonfiction book about Sydney the Harbor Seal Pup. In our next lesson, we'll finish the book. But today, it's time to get started with our own independent reading. Now, just like we practice together, when you're doing independent reading today, you will read a nonfiction book and you will be practicing thinking and wondering about the book you're reading. Because remember, good readers wonder or ask questions while they're reading. 
they also think about what they've learned, just like we did in our book together. So let me show you an example. Today, I'm gonna find this nonfiction book that I have all about reindeer. Hmm, reindeer, okay. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna do is look at the picture on the cover, and I might look at a couple other pictures to help my brain think a bit about the book. And then I'm gonna start reading. A reindeer is a large animal that lives in snowy areas. Reindeers have antlers on their heads. Antlers are hard body parts that are shaped like tree branches. And I have learned here what an antler is and what it looks like. These words, antlers, are hard body parts. And this picture here with the label helped me to learn what antlers are. Wow, that's something new I've learned. So today for independent reading, when you learn something new, I want you to go ahead and tell someone or something what you learned and why you picked your book. And then you can also share what you're still wondering. For example, I picked this book about reindeer because I wanna learn more about these animals. I don't know a lot. So far, I've learned that reindeer are animals that have antlers that look kind of like trees. And I'm still wondering what reindeers eat. I'm curious or wondering, what do reindeers still eat? Then, readers, after you're done with your independent reading, you're gonna draw and write about something new that you learned. For example, I would draw and write about reindeers having antlers, and I can draw a picture of their antler. You're gonna draw and write about what you learned in your extension activities or just on a blank piece of paper. Make sure you put your name and the date and then write what you learned and draw and label. You can challenge yourself. You can write or draw or do both and say as many new facts or things that you learned as you can. And don't forget kindergartners, you can also share with someone or something where you are about why you chose your book and what you learned from your book and what you're still wondering. Okay, so if you need a nonfiction book and you don't have one where you are right now, don't worry. You can go to the Seattle Public Schools website and then you're gonna select or choose the student portal and you can click on academic tools like PebbleGo or TumbleBook. Those have lots of good nonfiction books or you can visit Scholastic Learn at Home for other nonfiction books to read today. If you have a nonfiction book where you are, you can also use that. All right, kindergartners, great work learning and reading with me today about Sydney the Harbor Seal Pup and about practicing wondering and sharing what we learned. Now it's your turn. Go ahead, take a little stretch break for yourself, get your body moving, and then find a book and get started. Happy reading, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Peggy says bye too. Bye, kindergartners. See you next time.